Hey guys, Exelon here from EnthusiX.com with even more Pokemon Glaze. We are on episode 2. As you can tell by, by the neat little interface on the right, I found a Sand Shrew. I named him Sahara. You know, aspiring geography students can figure it out. I did a bit of grinding. Um, mostly just to get them up from level 2. Let's go meet with the uh, professor. See what he has to to uh, help us with. You won't believe this. These guys won't let me get into the milkshake swamp. Nobody enters the swamp. Go do something else instead. Team Fusion is their name. Never thought you'd stoop so low. I've already run off the rest of your gang in the swamp already, so you have no reason to stay here. Of course, if you have any need to protest, my dark he has a dark cry. He's itching for a battle. Foo foo foo, our objectives here are complete. We'll be taking our leave now. Do those grunts harm you? No? I'm sorry, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Blake. I'm a member of the Donut Elite Four. I've taken it upon myself to protect travelers such as you at any expense. I have curiosity, why are you both going into the swamp? It's not exactly the most fun place to be. I was curious about some of the ruins of the swamp. Axelon was going to escort me to them in case any wild Pokemon attack. I didn't have any. I don't have any, you see. Team Fusion, those men preventing you from entering the swamp or poking around those same ruins. I'm going to escort you there myself to make sure I frighten them all off. I'm sure Axelon wouldn't want to be hanging around with two adults anyway. You've just begun. As a traitor, continue to keep striving for your dreams and rest assured they'll come true. One day we may even battle. Come, inventor. Scientific science exploration awaits. Well. Oh. Okay. He glitched out there. What? Okay, 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 okay. Now I know. What a horrible way to start the video. In fact... Oh, you don't have... Antidotes? Nah. Nah. Alright, we'll just have to avoid those. You. When you're exploring the swamp, make sure not to step in- yeah. Thank you. Yes, yes it does. And Pokeball. A pseudo Wudo, I see it. What a love of bug types. Oh, oh no, I have Avion up front. You, you made a big mistake, my friend. Especially with your level 4 Caterpie. What? That didn't kill it. Are you kidding me? Oh, he had- he had, okay, he had two. Yes, level 8. And quick attack, cool. Not my bugs. A rematch? Oh, uh, okay. 3 XP, unless he's leveled up magically in the past 5 seconds.
Nope. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Don't worry, this, is, this will be over quick. It'll be over real quick. Let's avoid him. Oh, that's a cuttable tree? Really? That's not Sudowoodo? Okay. Oh, okay. Our first wild Pokemon of the swamp. What is it? An Ekans. Uh, I'm gonna run away. I want to see what else the swamp has to offer. Do I have to... No, I don't. There's no... Okay. Probably a Caterpie. Another Ekans. Hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, a crow gunk. Hmm. Let's go for you. Oh no, why did I do that? Okay, okay, okay. okay gotta catch it now before it starts healing itself. going to name him. I wish I, I wish I could always come up with names instantly. Oh wait, no, it's a her. Damn it. Okay, okay. Um, well, there went my plans. Well, what's another poison term? I want to go toxic. Oh wait, no. I know. Toxin. That's someone who needs to come back in Spider-Man comic books. Uh, Toxin, the symbiote. The son of Carnage. Some trainers will rematch you if you talk to them. Battling trainers over and over can help training go by. Yes, I will, I'll, I will make use of that feature. Right, I'm cheating the system. I don't care. Oh, I should have put the XP share on, on Toxin. Oh well. I'll do it after this battle. Oh, come on. Alright, it's all good. Give it up. I've never used a Crowagunk before. Time will tell if I um, keep using it or not. 
I remember one of his playthroughs, uh, the Roshank Redemption. Who, who's, he's a re really entertaining YouTuber, and he has, he has a nice little community going. Great guy, a little shout out there. Um, I know he used one in one of his playthroughs. I think it was named Zaheer. For any, you know, Avatar Legend of Korra fans, they'll, they'll get that reference. Um, it seemed, it seemed to work for him a lot, so... I recall it missing a bunch, though. A bunch of cross chops in one video. That was meant to be a double battle, but oh well. I already caught one way ahead of you. <gasps> a shroomish! See, I, I feel justified in not picking... ...a, um, grass Pokemon now. Uh... I'm... Turtwig. That, that was a starter, yeah. Gotcha. These guys are great. Absolutely great. Let's see, the last time I used one, it was named Toad, and he was a very, very dependable Pokemon. He was my number one go-to guy for catching Pokemon. Uh, this is obviously uh, his niece or something. So... She'll call her... Toady. Remind us of Toad. Now please tell me you have a, a somewhat decent nature for what I have in mind for you. I think it doesn't. I, I have to look up bold natures, but I think it's actually counterproductive to what I'm aiming for. Such a pain waiting through mud. Yes, I know. I know. The goal of this video is to get through this swamp. Is awesome. One guy hates it, the other one loves it. You're no youngster. Youngsters wear shorts because they're comfy and easy to wear. Alright, we're not even gonna deal with, with this. I can avoid getting paralyzed from like a thunder shock or something. I'll do it. Oh my god, come on! You're a ground type. Ground type should be immune to static. If they're immune to a thunderbolt, static electricity should also have no effect. Oh, come on.
Don't fall for its charms, Sahara. You fell for its charms. Now look at that. I switched to Sahara specifically to not get paralyzed, and yet it paralyzes me anyway. Sahara, the one who should, the one Pokemon on my team who should, all, by all rights, be immune. If it's a ground type. Leffa. Let's go Sparks. Youngster with his baby Pokemon. Hey, look, baby brought a baby Pokemon. That reference is so old, most new Pokemon fans probably won't even get it. You have to be uh, what's what's known as a Gen uh, Gen Oneer to understand that. Actually, no, Gen Oneer is kind of a derogatory term. It's for, it's for people who um, say Gen One is the only like generation that matters, you know. And I, I admit, I'm, I'm fairly biased towards Gen 1 myself. But, um... While I like the designs of Gen 1 the best, Pokemon-wise, I mean, they're not all perfect by any means, don't get me wrong. I think Gen 2, um... offered the best transition. Like, it, it was a sequel, because it built upon Gen 1. But, you know, actually, it moved that story forward. I don't think many Pokemon games have done that. Really, I mean, I mean, sure. It, it, uh, the Kanto region in Gen 2 felt pretty rushed. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of uh, content besides, you know, fight the gym leaders. And red. Toxic level seven, good. Oh wow, I have six Pokemon already, I didn't even realize. Did not even realize. Alright, Toxin. Give me that. Avion, you rest. Let's try this guy out. How... How does... Oh, all my rage. It doesn't even make sense. I didn't even see it there. I just walked into it. Oh, it's not poisoned. Why was it giving me the, the, the poison message? Whatever. Those two are. I have no antidotes, because the store doesn't sell them. That's evil. It's not even the store. Wow. Thank God I'm not doing a Nuzlocke, right?
Oh, this video is already 20 minutes. Uh, surely I'm almost through the through, through the swamp. Please don't let it be like some Viridian forest nightmare like in the anime. Who am I kidding? It probably is. All right, let's walk around it. I'm tempted to catch that shroom, it's just because it's, it's two levels tougher and it's male. Or just name him Toad. Oh my god, come on. A Tangela. Ah, I already have Shroomus. Shroomish. Sorry. Actually, you know what? If I see it, I'll, I'll, I'll catch it and replace Tony with it. Just for diversity's sake. I think we're at the end of the swamp. So it seems like it. These columns weigh five tons. I wonder how ancient people managed to move them here. What? We came at just the right time, as I suspected. Another grunt snuck back while our backs were turned. Look up there by that tablet. He seems very suspicious. He must be up to no good. I see a member of the, of the Elite Four in action? Come with me. Adventure stay here where it's safe. I thought I ran you scum off with your tail between your legs. Foo foo foo, I stuck back here to get the information I was employed to find. They will welcome me back at HQ like a hero. I have no time to play games with the Pokemon League now. So long. Whoa, 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 whoa. This tablet. You are right, you scared off that grunt. Good proper, it seems. Wow, amazing. Hmm. I'm done here for now, it's getting nasty, thank you. For assisting me, please take this. Pokecom. It's a device of my own invention, it translates Pokemon speech into human speech and vice versa. Huh. Hopefully it'll help on your journey. Text translated will be displayed with this color. I'll be going to my home now, I'll be much happier there where I can work in peace. See you around, Axelon. These rooms are amazing, why are they here? Seems to have fallen into a hole. What happened? Did I slip through the universe again? I thought I heard a commotion. Do you remember me? My name is Luke. I was the one who brought you back to your room last time. As I predicted, you managed to slip through again. I'm kind of in a rush, so I'll have to hold off explaining. Would you mind helping me? I'm looking for a mud kit that's wandered off. It's somewhere around here, but I can't find it anywhere. I appreciate it if you can look around for me. If you find it, I'll explain what's happening as best I can. Sure. Let me hear you. I don't need it, but okay. Mud kip, huh? Well, there it is. Save there. Oh, come on. It's this game. I have you now. No! How dare a mud kip hide in mud? Item. 
Axe Ether. Wow, this early. Find you, Mudkip. Oh, he's ready for a fight. Can I catch this? Please let me catch this. Got the advantage of water, but. Well, that did absolutely nothing. Pocket sand, ugh. Or pocket mud. That's fine. More mud slaps. I'm totally gonna try catching this. Hey! Let's be silly. I'll sacrifice Sahara here. Oh, but who, who do I get rid of? Oh man, probably Sahara. I like Santrus too. Working. Oh no! Wow, I survived. It's weakening its health a bit more. Oh, there goes Sahara. I'm afraid of attacking it again because I don't want it to. Um, I, I want to get a critical hit here. It's pretty weak. No, oh, it's having none of it. All right, maybe that was just a lucky, or an unlucky one in my case. Must have been. And now I have a mud kit. Ah, what do I what do I call it? Crap. Oh man. Give a nickname to the captured mud kit. I 
No, no, that's, that's, that's dumb. That's dumb. Let's go with... I'll, na I'll name him... No. No, 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 no. I already named a Kaiser in my last game, but... Excellent work. Follow it to universe working at you have to hurry before it shuts. There's no time to explain. Get to the portal. Oh, that was just weird. These columns are in proportion with the golden ratio. Even a thousand years ago, math was important. Bizarre symbols are carved along the base. I'm trying to, to decipher them. Is that it? All right, let's let's head on back. Oh no! Oh no! I'm not I'm not prepared for this. Like half my team's dead. Uh, it's just a Kakuna. False alarm, guys. Alright, I'm, I'm not gonna play this game. I'm gonna kill it as quickly as possible. This took longer than I thought. I didn't realize I would be catching a mud kip. But it does prove my point. It proves that... You know, even though I cho I decided not to choose the water starter, you can get a decent water Pokemon fairly quickly. I didn't know it was going to be this quickly, but it is obtainable. Oh, the beast is dead. Level 9. Charge. I have nothing to use charge with right now, but okay. Tony's level 5. This feels like the way to go. I'm just gonna turn around. I'm just gonna turn around. Go heal, add Mudkip to the team. If I ever get back. I'm also almost out of Pokeballs. So like I can't I can't go around, you know, catching willy-nilly. At least not yet. I have to conserve. Mudkip was definitely worth it, though. Starter Pokemon are always worth the effort. healed up, and now, uh, decisions must be made. Who, who shall stay and who shall go? This Mudkip is coming. But, uh, that will have to wait till next time where you see, you'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um... What's your favorite starter Pokemon? I'm trying to... <coughs> Excuse me.
excuse me, trying to, you know, engage with the community a bit more. What's your favorite starter Pokemon, and why? See you guys next time.